I've been getting a lot of requests to do a beginner tutorial, a starter video, a what the fuck should I be doing when I first get on the server video, and that's what we're doing right now. So we're gonna go over maybe the top like 10-ish things you should be doing as soon as you log in on Celestial. First things first, I would make an account to sit here at the AFK zone. Essentially all you do is you leave your account logged in, you smack these bitches around, and you get some AFK tokens. Honestly, if you're on Celestial and you're not already doing this, I highly, highly, highly recommend it because what, what's it going to hurt to have one extra client open whilst you grind bosses or skill or whatever you want to do on your main account? Plus, after a while of AFKing at the AFK zone, you can get some sweet fucking rewards, dude. Hang on one sec. Yeah, check this out. You can get cash boxes, you can get slayer keys, you can get boss keys. I honestly do not recommend the slayer keys. But the best thing you can get, in my opinion, is the collector's necklace. And what this item does is it collects items that are dropped from monsters while you're killing them, so you can almost completely AFK your Slayer tasks. Another big thing you can get from the shop is a $10 token. You can literally get Donator for being AFK. If you're gonna play the server plenty anyways, why not? Why not? That's $10 towards anything in the store, or you can use it on a Donator status. I think there's a Donator status for $10. I'm not 100% sure. I don't donate because I'm, I'm poor. The second thing I'm not going to recommend you do, I'm going to strongly suggest you do, is Slayer. And please, 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 for the love of God, please start out with easy tasks. Do not think you can do medium tasks right off the bat. This is a custom server. That is not how that works, Chief. Anyways, onto the Slayer store, which you're mainly aiming for with the Slayer shop. I know these are pretty. I know you want to buy these. I know you like random loot, but eh, leave them alone. Don't touch them. Bah! What you want to aim for is a full Hydra set. I'm iffy on the boots and the gloves, to be honest, but if you want to complete it, get the boots and the gloves. Slayer Hydra, by the way, is hybrid armor, so you can use it with every single type of attack. Got a little off track. You want full Slayer Hydra. You want the Slayer Scimitar. Okay, and these capes are uh, fucking chef kiss, my boy. Another cool thing about the Slayer Shop is the Mastery Rewards, which I, I really don't know shit about. But if you like killing shit and you like raising your Slayer level, then this is the server for you, dog. I don't care if you've never played a custom server before in your life. I don't care if you've hated every custom server you've played in your life. Celestial plays different, and that's the only reason I'm still here. I wish I could tell you more about what this shit does. Oh, it has explanations. I can tell you what this shit does. This perk gives you a 50% damage increase while on Slayer assignments. Holy fuck. What is a Mastery Certificate? I think that's when you prestige your Slayer level. Okay, so if you prestige your Slayer level twice, you can buy this. That's crazy. Imagine doing boss tasks with 50% extra damage increase. That was the sound of my... My, my mind being blown. Next on our list is teleports. If you want to train a skill, click on it. The community in general gets so many people asking, well, how do I, how do I train my skills? Just click on the skill. Either one, it'll take you exactly where you need to go to train that skill with a shop to buy the shit you need, or two, it'll give you options as to where to teleport to. Now, whether it be needing to go to a city for the evil tree or the crash star, or needing to get to a slayer task, literally go on here, Click anything besides the skills teleport, and there is an interface. It will tell you exactly how to teleport where. You need to go to a dungeon, bada bam, dungeon list. Need to find a certain boss, bada bing b. Right there, bosses. Excuse me. Hello? Hey, what are you doing? Um, I'm actually trying to make a video, Mom. Can you call me back later? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Mom, I'm just kidding, I'm sorry. <laughs> you need to go to a specific monster for a slayer task, bam! Right here, buddy. If it's not a boss, it's right here. Also, it has a neat little interface where you can see almost exactly what every boss drops. I say almost exactly because I think it just shows the top four best drops from that boss. Either way, it's an indication of what the boss can drop and what you can expect to get from grinding it. This is new, by the way. I'm not going there because I'm not geared and he's scary. Speaking of teleports, another one you should be looking at is the minigames teleport to take you to the drop rate minigame. I recommend scrounging up some sort of gear before you come here so it makes the grind a bit quicker, but afterwards all you're going to do essentially is go to each of these pens and you're going to kill these drop rate warriors. Eventually they're going to drop something for you called a drop rate ticket. The first pen is 5%, the second is 10, 
the third is 15, and the fourth is 20%. Without needing to be said, the higher you go, the more of a grind it's going to be to actually complete it. Once you're finished and you come to the fourth pen and you get your 20% drop rate ticket, your total overall drop rate is going to be 20% higher than average. And that's for free. You don't have to pay for this. You don't have to be a donator to do this. You just have to commit to the grind, and there you go. A free 20% drop rate increase. The second zone you're going to want to be looking at is the DPS quote-unquote minigame. Now, Watson, I'm looking at you, buddy. Okay? Calling this a minigame, that's... That's a stretch, okay? All you do is you come in here and you kill these ugly boys. You kill these ugly boys and eventually you get points. They don't drop anything, you don't have to worry about any of that. You get points towards buying rings and necklaces that give 5% in each category for each fighting style. So say you were to kill a thousand of these warriors, you could get a 5% magic damage ring and a 5% magic damage necklace to combine a total of 10% extra magic damage. That's two of the first things you should be doing on your account. The next thing I want you to do, actually, I should have put this at the very top. The first thing I want you to do when you log in is I want you to do command item list. If you come to the server from this video and you ask one single time what your next weapon upgrade will be, I'm gonna punch you in your face! Need to know what magic weapon to grind? Bam. Right here, dude. What? What's that? You, you, you use range? Ooh, bada ba boom bang pow right there dude right there you need to know what kind of armor you want to grind next yeah okay so i'm gonna kind of condense the last four things into one little section number seven vote your votes have value on the server people will buy them for buku bucks right now number eight get raids requirements it's 70 in every single stat except summoning construction and farming number nine Get two or three friends, go to Godzilla, and farm some boss keys. And finally, number 10 on our list, prioritize having a good time over getting drops. Not that the drop rates are bad, the drop rates aren't bad at all, they're actually pretty fair considering the kind of gear you can get. But if you go into a server with the mentality of, oh my god, I have to be the richest right now, if I'm not the richest right now, this means nothing, you're not gonna enjoy it. Celestial is a vibe, man, that's just all I can say. Well there you go, your simplified beginner's guide. Everything you need to know, all packed into one pretty little video. If you have any questions regarding anything outside of this video, feel free to send a private message to any active staff member. They're super helpful and very responsive. If you'd like to join me on Celestial, I will leave the server link in the description. And with that being said, I will see you gorgeous bastards in the next one.